Holly, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out if I can afford to farm next year. Yeah, good luck with that. Hey guys, Holly Thrasher here, Senior Staff Agronomist, and I want to talk to you a little bit about farm profitability. So in 2020, the USDA is predicting that, predicting that net farm income is going to only slightly increase. Well, as we look at the inflated adjusted um, net cash farm income, that's going to be below the 2000 to 2018 historic averages. In addition to that, they're also predicting that uh, total production expenses in 2020 are going to increase around 3%. So when you think about uh, profitability, there's two ways that we can be more profitable in agriculture. One is we can increase the number of bushels that we're producing, or we can decrease the cost of our inputs um, as a measure of a greater return on investment. Now certainly if you have highly productive acres, you can uh, maximize that to get higher bushels. But as we're chasing yield, we have to remember that there's the law of diminishing returns um, on the inputs that we're putting in those acres. So as we look at, at focusing on input costs, specifically seed and chem, as those two can be quite variable in what we, what we spend, um, an example I want to give you for variability in, in input costs is that FBN members in Illinois reported that um, prices that they paid for one specific herbicide and um, members uh, paid 141% different um, on that sp same specific herbicide. So one FBN member spent 141% more than another FBN member did for the same exact herbicide. So um, certainly want to be making sure that you're getting the, the best value for your, uh, your chem inputs. Another area to look at focusing on our input costs would be seed. So are you paying for tra traits you really need? Um, are those traits effective against the insects that you're trying to protect them against? Additionally, you have to think, are you paying for um, premium genetics that are in, gonna go on a marginal acre that have more of that yield ceiling? So I'd really recommend that you reach out to your FBN uh, hub operator. Um, they can sit down with you and look at your chem program and identify some areas that you may have some um, cost savings opportunities. The same is true for seed. Really ask yourself the question, um, am, I, am I getting the best value for the, um, for the input cost of seed that I currently have? Um, so like I said, please reach out to your FBN hub operator, they can, um, they can help you identify those areas of cost savings and additionally they can put you in touch with uh, us on the FBN agronomy team. We'd be happy to go through your chemical program and see if there are any opportunities for you to um, make some changes to your herbicide program that will continue to be effective um, but may potentially uh, allow you to have some cost savings as well.